amassed the same amount of points over the last five games. Lime hold they shape up like this. Still Jaheim Williams between the sticks. They'll be playing with a 4-3-3. Damani Sewell, the captain, Dario Stewart, is back into the starting lineup. The player to watch Rohan Sewell will play in one of the wing back positions. That's to Jimoy Jones. Devontae Redman. Marlon Pennycook, who was shut down in the last game. Such a talented player, two footed as well. Sergei Anderson, Campbell Miller, and McCullough will complete the lineup. They are coached by Hopton Gilchrist. Yeah, they're going to have to find a way. I mean, they've won their last game here. They're going to have to cling to any hope, and that's the biggest hope that they'll have. Dumbo Holding, they revert back to their 4 3 3 lineup after, being play after playing with a 4 4 2 for some time. High up between the sticks, the ever present and uh, two time winner with Arnett Gardens, Ricardo Thomas. And Devontae Hunch is a youngster brought into that centre back role. Of course, he would have known him very well in Retired at Clarendon College. Wilkes Powell Sigree Winter comes into the starting line of field play at right back. Marlon Anel gets a start over uh, Nicholas Nelson in the centre forward role. Stephen Williams, a player to watch. Fabian McCarthy, one of the best midfielders in the league. And the young Dwight Merrick, who is here on loan from Mount Pleasant. There are a few players from Mount Pleasant. So the full match highlights, Andre Parkinson, the man in charge, Lime Hall initially off the get-go, a ball into the area, but they did mostly defending for the entire game that was pushed over from Damian Hyatt, and then came the double holding pressure. Donovan Sigri out to Marlon, Allen, Marlon, Allen, but defending Dwight Merrick, clinical. Merrick's first of the season, good finish into the near post, but the work was done from Marlon Allen. And yeah, Merrick just composed himself well to score the first that came after 18 minutes and Dumbo Holding had the lead. Merrick and Allen both on loan from Mount Pleasant and against their St. Anne counterpart Lime Hall combining well. Merrick had another chance from the edge of the area there, had quite a, quite a few chances in the first half. Here was Stephen Williams with his shot with the left foot just spinning turning his body well and letting fly and then Dwight Merrick should have made it 2-0 here on his preferred left foot and the snatch that it did Dwight Merrick instead of keeping his composure like he did for his goal and couldn't provide the finish neither could Stephen Williams from that chance it was all done beholding in this first half should have had more than one goal but instead they went to the half with just a one goal advantage Lime Hall slowly but surely decided to commit more players forward and they would find themselves back into this match. This was the first chance for them. Marlon Pennycook at the back post couldn't put it on target but they would have better moments. Dario Stewart, the player to watch, their most senior midfielder with the strike deflected off the crossbar but bounced behind the line and just like that Lime Hall against the run of play Worst all square. 1-1. One, one. Stewart after 65 minutes. But then the substitutions came for double holding. Nicholas Nelson pulling free. Thought he had scored. But he hit it with the wind. And he took it over the crossbar. Just kissing the crossbar and going over. But he continued to be right at it. This was a strike from Powell. Just wide of the mark. I actually think it was a pass from Shaquille Powell. Looking for Nelson. And Dumbo Holding started to come alive. The captain, Ricardo Thomas, getting into the area. Providing for Johnson. Johnson trying to play in Nelson. Nelson wasn't happy about it. He thought Johnson should have taken it for himself. But the pass from Johnson was good. Nelson continued to cause problems for his back line. This one taking it in. And instead of striking, provided for his captain. Ricardo Thomas with his first of the season. The second for Dumbo Holding on the afternoon and they regained the lead after 87 minutes and he had the celebration to go with it Ricardo Thomas not a bad gymnast is he 2-1 to double holding 87 minutes gone they would finish with four goals believe it or not Ricardo Thomas with two of them one for Alex Gale and of course Dwight Merrick 4-1 they defeated Lime Hall. They had 15 shots and 5 on target. Not bad to 
have five on target and score four. One on target for Lime Hall, which was their goal. Darius Stewart from their three attempts. Lots of fouls in it. 24, five yellow cards shown by Andre Farkasen. Just the one save for their goalkeeper, Jaheim Williams, but he was beaten four times by Dumble Holden. Majority of the position for Dumble Holden and a big three points for them. They regain sixth position on the table. It's a 4-1 win for the team from Portmore. Dwight Jeremiah is with our man of the match. It is the captain, Ricardo Thomas, with his brace. Ricardo, it's a captain's performance from you today. Uh, you started, you played much, pretty much your left back position, but once the team required an impetus to go forward, you stepped up. Tell me about your game today. Uh, the coach, coach, um, instruction off the bench um, that I need to go more forward and get in the game. So that's what I did, and I get two goals from it. You got two goals, you went forward, yes, but I think also the coach helped you. With Nicholas coming on the park, it must have been easier for you when you get forward. Good player to play with, isn't he? Yeah, um, Nicholas is, is a great player. Um, thanks for those two assists. <laughs> Very thankful for it. Yeah. Is it two, two first goals of the season these are yeah, for you, first right? Two goals, yeah. I mean, how does that make you feel? Um, feel very good to know that um, I scored my first two goals for this season. Uh, I have more to offer, so I'm thankful. In terms of what to offer, how, how, what's the offer you think Dumbe Holden has now with this push for the playoff? You feel that you can get into this playoff spot? Uh, I think we have to take it one game after game. I think this three points mean a lot to the team. Really grateful. Yeah. Well, good performance from your captain's performance and long may it continue. All the best. Thanks. thanks. All right, there you have it.